Hello folks and welcome back. So let's talk about some a couple of dry bags uh, that have been trying out for a little while now, all basically all summer and pretty much most of last winter, I guess. So I've had these bags a long time. These have a lot of use out of them and I've been very impressed with them. So we'll start with the biggest one here. Again, these bags are from Sea to Summit and this is their new uh, Big River uh, dry bag. This is a 35 liter dry bag and man, this thing is just awesome. Um, what an excellent quality. You know, as with pretty much all of Sea to Summit stuff that I have and I've tested out over the years and gear that I still own, Sea to Summit really makes some, some good quality stuff. And these dry bags are no exception. Um, excellent, uh, excellent quality dry bags. So let's, let me talk about a couple of specs here. I got the box that it came in here. Let me go over a few specs with you. Uh, basically, again, this is a third, the 35 liter um, Big River dry bag. It's the heavy duty uh, version. So this is a little thicker than your normal uh, dry bags. So it's basically you're looking at about 23 uh, inches tall uh, and about a 12 and a half inch base. Um, again, it's waterproof roll-up closure with a hypalon closure. Uh, it's 420D nylon, um, so it's, you know, again, ripstop nylon, so it's pretty abrasive, resistant. They have multiple lash points that we'll talk about here in just a second. Um, waterproof, uh, durable seams, uh, double-stitched and reinforced, as well as tape-sealed. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice uh, little bag that it comes in here. And... Uh, so yeah, so let's see. It said it has some lash points on it. So these lash points, they're on each side. So you got one here, and you got another set of lashing points over here. So you can lash extra gear to this, um, uh, strap it down to whatever you need to strap it to, put some carabiners on here, uh, stuff like that. Your um, the bottom here again is um, like they said, it's reinforced, uh, heavy duty reinforced. You do have attachments. Um, straps on here so you have you a shoulder strap that you can attach to it I believe that this shoulder strap is separately I think um, I don't think it came with it I'm not sure I can't remember because I've had it for a while so anyway just a single shoulder strap um, is completely detachable hypalon a little tab there and what's cool about this too is <coughs> on the top here let's say you're in the field and your buckle uh, breaks they have what's called the field replaceable buckle so they have little screws here uh, you can unscrew this replace this very simply and very easily so in my bag here what i have in here is i have a full-size tent uh, that i've been keeping in this bag this is my um, my kazoo gear uh, titan tent so if you've seen that review previous you'll know how big that tent is and it fills up just about pretty much this entire bag um, and that's what I've uh, kept in here. I've been keeping in here um, because the bag that that tent comes with is just not very good. So, but anyway, it doesn't really need a waterproof bag like this, but it, um, it's been working well uh, for that. So that's, again, it's clips right there. You have some D rings here for attaching, you know, other stuff to it. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the big boy. That's the, the Big River dry bag. The other dry bag that I have uh, from them here, this is a smaller dry bag. This is the Event, and I believe this dry bag has actually been out for a little while. This is um, a 13 liter um, compression bag. Here's the sack or the um, case here. And basically this bag is about 17.3 inches uh, rolled height. Again, made out of the same 420D ripstop type nylon material. And it has about an eight and a half inch base. Again, comes with a, or has the field um, repair buckles on there, so you, you can replace the buckles um, if you need to do that. And some cool features with this is, again, it has some straps on it here, some lashing points here. You can uh, lash it down to however uh, or whatever you want uh, if you need to lash it down to something. It actually is like a, um, a sleeping bag compartment. So this is not your typical roll-up uh, type bag. Um, well, it is. But it has these lid or lid on it so I'll just kind of take this off here and i'll show you so you take that off and you take the and so here's your here's your roll-up type design or roll-up thing here 
And what I have in here is I have my uh, my poncho liner right now, my Wooby, uh, my, my um, actually my Bushcraft Outfitters core tent poncho uh, liner is in here. And that pretty much takes up the entire thing. Uh, again, this is 13 liters, so it's um, really fills up this entire bag. But yeah, this is, a again, another nice bag. I haven't had any issues with either one of these bags. This bag here, the smaller one, I've actually thrown on my kayak, taken it out kayaking several times. Um, the big bag, I have not um, had it out in the weather um, just yet, just because, again, it's just been basically, it holds my tent uh, for the most part. But, you know, the smaller bag here has been, you know, it's been nice. I've actually, I've attached this to my, um, my pack and used this, you know, to carry my, my poncho liner or anything else. And you can put whatever you want in it. Obviously, it's a dry bag, so... Yeah, so a couple of cool little bags I thought I'd just show, share with you um, from Sea to Summit. You know, the lid takes a little bit of getting getting back on it once you you know roll this thing, and you got to get the lid you know back on it in the right. But it takes a it takes a little bit, and you can cinch it down you know however you want. So on the bottom of this bag here too, I have a little handle. You know, you can grab with it if it, if you stuff this down in your pack or something like that. You can really just grab it and pull it out um, if you want to do that as well. But these come in multiple different sizes. Both of these bags do. And um, again, another cool, uh, some cool products again from Sea to Summit. So thanks again for watching folks. Get outside, get outdoors. Always make sure you have necessary skills to survive. And I'll see you on another video really soon.